G'day and welcome to the start of our Belgian Waffles campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. Basically, we're going to start as Belgium here. The entire point of this campaign is to get the Forge of Victory achievement, have victory, have 50 factories as Belgium. Uh, while we're at it, we're going to get revenge on the Netherlands for what they're doing to us in the Netherlands campaign, which we're playing at the moment as well. Uh, the link to that one is in the description at, uh, under the video. So we'll try and destroy the Netherlands and Luxembourg will join the Reich. Obviously we have to be uh, fascist to be allowed into the Axis, so we'll go ahead and do that. Don't want the Germans to attack us to get around the Maginot Line into France. So Iron Man mode is on, we will start this. Save and play. Now we are a miner, so I assume that we have just the regular old nonsense down here. Um, firstly though, we are not going to do it because we need to save up our political power for Joris van Severin, the fascist demagogue. We need him as quickly as possible. And we'll start much the same as we did with the Netherlands one. We'll go over to industry. We will improve our construction speed since we need that for the Forge of Victory. We'll increase our production cap and we'll work on reducing research time. Free civilian factories will be used for creating more civilian factories. Do we have any other land around the world? We have all of this down here in which we can do nothing. Fantastic Congo. We have no other little bits and pieces anywhere. Okay, less than the Netherlands start with, with their whole Indonesian thing. So we have 18. That'll give us 21. We're going to land a lot more, which means we're going to have to take all the Dutch lands, and that's going to be our starting problem. All right, do we have any men down in Africa? We have one colonial, yep, division colonial. He is actually just as strong as... No, different to regular infantry. He does have recon and an engineering attachment. These guys just have engineering. Okay, well, we'll think about that later. We will actually want to do some recruitment. Let's train... Motorized? No, we'll just go for regular infantry. We'll train them obviously over in Belgium. We'll do it in Flanders. Okay, so we'll leave the guy down in Africa for now. These guys will be part of one thing with Kayerts, Mountaineer and Hillfighter. How's he get that? We don't have mountains in Belgium, do we? Plains. Plains, 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 forest. Why is he a mountaineer? No idea. It's been the forest legion. Alright, so this is Belgium's hope. They will go on the border there. Mm, yep. Yeah. Alright, three military factories are going to work on infantry equipment. Support equipment should be okay. Interwar fighters we couldn't care less about. So we'll save that factory. That'll make infantry equipment. When we recruit guys, uh, division, they use a tiny bit of support equipment and then a lot of infantry. So that should work out. Still clicking on the wrong things all the time. That should work out with the sort of spread of them. Uh, naval dockyards will just make convoys. We haven't even researched any fleet. Guess that's why you start off better as the Netherlands having a fleet, but the fleet's too weak to do anything against the Allies. All right, we are ready there. We're not doing a focus. We have low manpower. We have insufficient resources. We need, we don't actually need aluminium, aluminium anymore. Put the extra eye in there, guys. We're not American um, because we're not making planes. So that should update next hour. Let's go ahead and jump up to speed four. Turn off the day-night cycle. Production of support equipment needs it. Well, we are rather behind on that. As much as I don't want to be 
spending a factory to do it. We will. At least until we've made enough support equipment. And that's just with one unit. We're going to spend all of our manpower making more. What do we need? 10,000 for each. Alright. Zero it out. Yeah, unfortunate. And we can barely even cover our front. When we run in on them, Amsterdam's worth 40. They have 75 unity, same as us. So they have 40, 50, 65, 70. 75% of 70 would be what, 35 plus 17, 50 something. So if we take 50, 5 sevenths, is that? Oh God, maths in my head hurts. Well, we'd have to take one of these to get up to Amsterdam anyway. So yeah, we have to head up there. Eindhoven, maybe. We just have to defend these two provinces. The rest don't matter. So let's shorten our line to Eindhoven. I have a hard time pushing in here. We'll also set our fallback line, just in case. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger army for sure, because we know these guys can be tough. Reinforcements will take priority later on. Alright, we'll go to speed 5 until we have enough points to get started. We aren't making motorised. We don't particularly care. We're not going to waste a whole factory making motorised for the very little need that they have. Only in one division. Cavalry Motorise. Alright, when we get to 150, we can break out Yoris. Rhineland's been remilitarised. That's scary to us at the moment. On 150. Pirates may harbour unspoken sympathies. No, we're going to go for the younger generation will take up the torch. Hope that we get a couple of events to help us get there faster. But now that we've done that, we need to push through to where? Can't do that until you are fascist. I think we'll do much like we did before. We'll start on industrial effort. Alright. Battle plans with no units. Yeah, that's the fallback. It's going to annoy me if that keeps popping up. I'll probably end up deleting it. Back up to speed 5. Men are luxurious. Look at this cheeky bugger. Coming to take in our control points. Alright, we have engineering. We get better reinforcement rates. Um, it's not 37 yet. Could research some tanks. Let's do that. Sounds like very allied music. Back into Germany, get our uh, what do you call it? Axis music back on. London's worth 50, Birmingham's 25, Liverpool's 30. That's a little rude. Liverpool's worth more than Birmingham. What about Edinburgh? Lothian's worth 1, Edinburgh's worth 10, Glasgow's worth 15. That's rude as well. Dublin. Five. All right, industrial effort. We are going to push through armament. All right, we're getting there. There's a few more communists than there were in the Netherlands too. 
Uh, basic machine tools give way for factory output increase. Leon de Grel versus Hubert Piello and uh, elections in November of this year. It's definitely too soon for us to win it. So we have to go for a coup. A Rex. Party Rexist. Communistische Party van Belgie. Sounds like a mix of what? German, Dutch and French. Spanish Civil War. A bit earlier this time. And how's it going to work out? They have 30 guys. They have probably 30 as well. Okay. Could be a stalemate. We want it to last a long time so that we can get fabrications on the Netherlands and Luxembourg done. But Luxembourg's probably not really worth any of Construction speed increase. Okay, next up. Resource gain efficiency. Oh no. We'll go for land doctrine. We have grand battle plan by default. Let's get our planning bonus up. Dover is worth 20. That makes sense. What about Calais? They're worth 15. Alright, armament. Next up, armament 2. Should come up with some less generic names for the generic tree since, well, there's a lot of times you'll be playing, is it? Hopefully in the DLC they add a bunch more focus trees for different countries. I assume that's what they're thinking of doing, particularly for the countries that are mentioned in the um, what do you call it in the achievement list. Spain, do they get their own? No, they're a generic. I'd say Spain would have to get one in a DLC. Poland did, and then it's just the majors after that. Italy have their own. Yeah. So who else do you think they'd do? They'd probably do Sweden, for obvious reasons. Um, Austria, maybe. They always get eaten, but you know, playing as Austria might be fun. Maybe China. I don't think they get a separate tree. No, they're the same as us. Generic tree. I'd say China would get one, and maybe Austria, probably Sweden, otherwise there's no other real main people. Canada and Australia would be fun with their own trees. Give Australia a, f a fascist side to the tree where they have to invade New Zealand or something. Alright, we are... I'm actually, just the Soviets are causing issues because they sent five volunteers. It's rare that the Soviets cause the largest amount of world tension. Reinforcements are ticking along despite not having manpower to do them. Alright, concentrated industry. Let's us move on to some other focus. Better research would be nice. Let's get started on that now because otherwise we're doing the uh, land thing and we're doing the tank thing so yeah don't know who we're going to use yet we will go for expert infantry before that oh we've got a silent workhorse as Belgium I thought it was going to be the same for all the generic people huh well then we're grabbing him that's an easy choice gives an extra 0.3 per day, 30% boost just from having that guy. Huh. Something that would help the spread. We've already got the guy, so you wouldn't be able to get two of them. But the infantry expert for division attack, we're going to need that in our war against the Netherlands. He's working on interventionism. He's definitely going down the wrong path. And can we not build more civilian factories? We can now. 
an extra three. And take us to 27 out of the 50 we need for the Forge of Victory. Alright, a bit more peace, down to two. Armament effort, let's push into Armament 3. Give us the last military factory for free. Could probably use support equipment with that extra one that we got. That would, I think, be a good idea. Okay. Great War Tanks. Definitely push through to Light Tanks. When's the next one? 36, yeah. Need to get up to Light Tank too. So we need to stockpile infantry equipment while we can. Because we're going to have to take some of the factories off to make tanks. Love to do a Blitzkrieg into Amsterdam. Alright, how are we looking? We've hit the 50% scale, so it's going to slow down now. Party leader, Victor Lefebvre of the non aligned party. Alright, give us some events to bump this up, please. We want this coup quick. Yeah, we could join the Axis and get them to help us. Here we go. Election. Fascists in government. We would rather them than the Communists. So this happens at 28%. Fair enough. Change in popularity. Take us up to 38. Get us a lot closer to a coup. Next election is in 1940. Yes, that was the actual election that caused that event. Um, three. Good, we're done with that. We need to start pushing through political. We are going to have a new guy soon. We'll go for... Ooh, we even won't. What are we at now? 39%. German gets the thing. Well, yeah. 39, and we have modified government. Yeah, we're going for the infantry expert. Need better attack. And we have guys coming out. Uh, we'll leave it on four at a time. But they should be joining him. So I don't have to do, do that. Okay. Come on, Leon. Go spread the word. Hubert has had his day. He needs to leave the, the Catholic bloc. Fascist assault divisions form. Change in popularity goes up 5%. National unity goes down, but doesn't matter too much. Recruitable population goes up is important. And daily fascism support is exactly what we need. Puts us up to about 45%. Gave us some extra guys that disappeared straight away. Population's 8 million. Alright, we should have this done pretty soon. Hopefully about the same time that this finishes. So we'll have the points to start the fabrications. How's the Spanish Civil War? It's looking perfect for us. Apart from that. And yeah, they're actually starting to win. That's not good. Yeah. Don't like that they're going to overrun us. So I guess we will extend the line a bit. That button. Pushing the wrong one. How to explain it. The fact that it's another three things is a little annoying. So what do we actually have? One, two, three, four, five, six on the front line. And we'll let it sort them out themselves. Alright, political effort gives us the points we need. As soon as we switch over, we can only keep this for 10 days. Are we likely to trigger this in the next 10 days? Probably not. So let's just save up the points anyway. 10 days we'll get 
0.3. No, it's not going to happen without another event. I think we've had both the events we can get. Okay. And you know what? We only need to declare the war quickly. We don't have to win the war quickly. So if we do this... From... That way. That was weird. Click and drag. There. Yeah, they still try and push in from every province. But they get the basic idea. Alright, buddy. Come on, Leon. Two and a half percent should take a couple of months. Be done by mid-year. This whole thing. Who else do we want? We want the uh, chief of staff for offense. Mechanical computing is ready. Good for being 1937 and jumping into factory output. Six days, we can get them into the next tank as well. Grand battle plans too. All right, light tanks, absolutely. Grand battle plan. Next one will give us defense organization. That's all right. Organization's always good. All right, we're at 48.4. Should be any day. Do, do, do. Affects the scale up to 24.6%. It's actually keep scaling differently. Come on, Leon. Do, 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 do. Wasting points on our national focus. Come on. Hindenburg disaster. No, oh, the humanity. Come on. I don't usually have to get all the way to 50%. You can do it. More popular than the Catholic bloc. Guess the communists are siding with the Catholics. Very close. Very, very close. Here we go. And it's bloody civil war. God damn it. Democratic supporters start a civil war. Or they must unite the people first and then rule them. Good, so we actually get a chance because we definitely don't want their supporters to start a civil war. They must unite the people first, then rule them. They remain certain the people will eventually tire of Hubert Pielo's lies. Yep, so what did this happen at? Just before 50%. They must unite the people first, then rule them. Not dealing with a civil war. Too, too costly. I don't like our chances of even winning, even with slightly larger. Come on, something's got to happen to let us do it. Modify the government again. Um, we would go for... Yeah, we're going to wait till we're at war. Here we go. When did it happen? 50.5. Suppress this hateful movement. Don't pay any attention to them. If the people want it, we'll hold the referendum. Yes, we will. We become the ruling party. Elections are not held. National unity down to 70%. Nice flag. Rexist Belgium. Alright, we go down to speed 4. We select Collectivist Ethos. Start that immediately. We then definitely start justifying the war goals to conquer... I don't know, anywhere. Whatever that is. Damn it. Justify the war goal to conquer the province. Holland. And we will... Fabricate on Luxembourg at the same time to conquer Luxembourg. All right, we can modify the government with our extra points. Now that we're fascist, we have cheaper war economy. We could wait till we're at war and do total mobilization instead, but that reduces recruitable population just to get better. Yeah, 5% lower, consumer goods factories, and fast conversion and construction. So war economy is good enough. We'll take that, and that would also open up closed economy once we're at war. So looking good. 
Okay, well, I'm going to take a short break here. When we come back, we will finish fabricating these claims. Hopefully, it will be done pretty quickly before tension gets over 25% and these guys can be um, guaranteed by France and uh, the UK. So, yeah, when we come back, we'll do that. But for now, I'm going to take a short break. If you would like to see how this plays out starting as the Dutch, that's in the other campaign I'm playing at the moment, airing at the same time. So check out the link in the description below, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.